Hi guys, welcome back to a mod video. I haven't done one of these in so long and I'm so excited because you guys know I'm so obsessed with mods and there's a new really, really good one out worth a dedicated video. It is called Better Sims. It is made by Midiar. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And this is crazy. We're just gonna jump in. The first thing, we're in Create a Sim, so that means that we have new traits. So um, what these traits are called, they're called complementary traits. And uh, Midiar has actually made traits that actually complement traits that are already in the game, which I think is so crazy. So you have illogical, that's the first one. And then it says these sims are bad at all mental skills and struggle to become focused. Super cool. And then you have uncreative. These sims are really bad at all types of creative skills and are rarely feeling and rarely feel inspired. So once again, very self-explanatory. And then you have unfunny. These sims are really bad at making and catching jokes and rarely become playful. Oh my goodness. And then there is more. There's the free spirit. These sims lie a carefree lifestyle. They can get tense if they spend a long period of time in high school or a regular job, which I think is so awesome. Then there's the occult enthusiast. These sims are obsessed with everything supernatural. Occult life states, rituals, the other life are the topics they're most interested in. All right, so those are the traits. Absolutely obsessed. And don't worry, you guys, there are also new aspirations, which made my heart literally jump. Um, these aspirations were actually inspired by Kai E. And I'm crazy about those aspirations. So I'm very excited for these. Um, so the first one is called Basics. And the bonus trait is learning about life. And this is just figuring out what you want to do. So kind of, you know, figuring it out and not really knowing what you're doing right now and just going with the flow. So it says not everyone knows what they want to do as soon as they become teenagers. This sim is finding herself right now and figuring out what she wants from life. I mean, that's pretty awesome. And then fear not, there's one more. Um, and this is the career driven one. And this has a lot of different ones. And this is just literally focused on your career. I think that is so cool. So you have the triple agent, you have the master of the real, you have business tycoon, you have interstellar smuggler. So I'll just give you one real quickly. So this is the champion gamer. This one wants to get to the top of the tech your career in the eSport gamer branch. So if you click on this one, you get a little reward trait as well. And in this case, it's the quick learner. Absolutely obsessed because this is really cool. We're going to go ahead and jump into game because there's so much more I have to show you guys. All right, guys, so we're in game and I have so much to show you guys. I'm so freaking excited. So right off the bat, we have a really cool moodlet. Emily is super furious and it says, Emily can't stop counting the days to move out of here. And that is actually because she is an Oasis Springs resident. And that actually means Emily loves the heat and the views of the desert and Oasis Springs seems like the perfect place to live. So she doesn't like it in Willow Creek. So that is actually something that you get. I'm going to go ahead and unpause here. But that is actually something that you get really randomly and uh, that gets chosen the minute you jump into game. I think that's so freaking cool. And then let's see Joshua. He is also an Oasis Springs resident. And Gavin is actually super happy because it says, what a wonderful morning. Waking up in a place you love is certainly a great way to start the day. Feels like you can do anything right now. It might be a great time to practice skills and build relationships. He is a Willow Creek resident. And you guys will obviously also see something else. And that is actually the color preference. That is so cool. It is randomized, but fear not, you can also change it. So I'm absolutely obsessed with that. So right here, you can see that Gavin actually loves the color red. Joshua loves the color orange. And Emily loves the color black. I think that's so cool. The next thing that you also have is your style preference. So Emily has a preppy style. It says these Sims love to look rich and prestigious. So then you have Joshua. And as you guys can see, he doesn't have a preferred style, but he has a kind of fashion that he likes. And that is masculine clothing. And then Gavin has a preppy style and a masculine fashion. So it kind of differs for every different Sim. And at the same time, what I think is really cool as well is that you can gain these preferences over time. So I think that's really, really cool as well. Another thing you might notice is it says hates fitness. So also when you jump into the game, it seems that Gavin doesn't like fitness. When Gavin tried acting for the first time, he just knew it was not for him. That must mean tried working out. That must be a little bit of a glitch. Okay, so he hates fitness. That's very interesting. 
Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and check on Joshua. So it's all actually in the traits section and I'm absolutely obsessed with that. I really, really like that. And he doesn't have anything that he hates yet. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys something super, super cool. Let's go ahead and have him read Crisis Barn. And we're gonna see if he's into this book or not. And then we can see if he likes reading or not. And this differs for any different activity. So maybe we will not even get a moodlet. It's really worked out with almost every activity. So you can hate or love an activity. I think that's super, super cool. Okay, look at that. We got a moodlet read for the first time. The, those were Joshua's first steps into the world of reading. This activity could be his new favorite thing to do or the worst thing he has ever tried. Alrighty. And then you're just going to have to wait, I think, and see, you know, how that kind of works out. So he's just going to go ahead and read. And in the meanwhile, we're going to have Gavin talk to Emily a little bit. And I'm already seeing a lot of things pop up. So look at this. Practice mischief. These were Gavin's first steps into uh, the world of mischief. As you guys can see, for every different activity, you have this. So you first get a really cute moodlet, and then later on, you actually see what you hate and love. That's so freaking cool. So now you can see he loves mischief because he tried it and he likes it. And he hates fitness because he tried it and he doesn't really like it. So you can really, you can really play with that in a really good way. This will impact your game a lot, obviously. So let's see, we don't really have anything over here, but we do have something that's called uncreative. So maybe we're going to go ahead and check that out and see if it will impact her if she starts doing something in a creative way. What we're going to go ahead and have her do is I think I'm going to buy an easel for her. And we're going to check out if uh, she can paint and because she's uncreative, if it's going to be harder for her to paint, how it's going to affect her. We're gonna go ahead and make a small classic painting. Okay, so we acquired the painting skill and it says trying painting. And because she's uncreative, I would believe that she doesn't like painting, but we're gonna find out. Maybe it could take a turn and it could say that she does like painting. That would be really interesting as well because someone can love painting even though they're uncreative. You know what I mean? Okay, so in the meantime, I'm really gonna, really quickly gonna show you guys something very different. We're gonna go over to Joshua and we're gonna click on him. There is in fact a new pie menu, which I'm very excited for. So if you click on it, you can change the aspiration bonus trait. I think that's so cool. So let's see, let's go ahead and try Emily out because she has the champion gamer and her bonus trait is a fast learner. Alrighty, so let's go to Better Sims, change aspiration bonus trait, and we can do literally everything. We can do animal affection, business savvy, collector, dathly, domestic, eco master, and entrepreneur. We can choose everything. I think that's really cool because even if you don't really play with the whole preferences thing, you can change the bonus trait to your liking if you don't really like the bonus trait that has been given with your aspiration. Then there's preferences. So if you guys are like, I don't really know if, you know, if Emily likes the color black, it doesn't really suit her. Then you can roll color preference and then it actually will change. And now it says she loves the color brown. So it's not necessarily that you can choose but you can kind of roll the dice and then you can change the colors. Okay, so then there's style. You can roll style as well. So then now she has a rocker style and I'm, I kind of like that. So yeah, I'm down. So it says these Sims are into dark colors and artful shapes and edgy fashion. And that is completely Emily. So, okay, the next thing is location and you can roll location preference. So now it says resident of the world. These Sims don't have a particular location preference. And then there's obviously cheats and it says change your color preferences and then you can choose your color. Alrighty, change your style preference. So there's basics, bohemian, country, hipster, polished, and preppy, super cool. And then there's change location preference, magnolia promenade, new crest, oasis springs, San Myshuno, and the world. And of course, Willow Creek. And there's also change your fashion choice. And there's masculine, feminine, and neutral. And I'm so obsessed with that as well. Ooh, this is so really, this is really cool. It says, I love this place. There's nowhere else where Emily would like to live. These are tiny, tiny things, but I know that everyone has wanted in this in The Sims for such a long time. And that's why I, I, I love this. So I don't know if the traits actually affect you yet. I'm kind of checking that out as we go. But I do realize that this creator has done it on 
purpose that it takes a bit of work to find what you love and what you hate. You know, it doesn't mean that if you read a book, it, it will immediately tell you if you love it or you hate it or not. So you have to actually go through a lot of different topics and a lot of different skills to realize what you like. And I think that's really, really cool. And if you don't like anything and you're just finding yourself, then you'll choose the finding yourself aspiration. Another thing that I want to show you guys is the reworked aspirations inspired by Kai E. Super, super cool. So the first one is the career driven, um, where you have to just start, then you're halfway there. So you have to actually reach a level of the career and then you have to reach the level 10 of the career. I feel like that's everywhere. So every different career has that. I think that's really cool because, um, an aspiration that is career driven, um, uh, actually kind of forces you to go through the career and uh, really uh, get promoted and level up. And I think that's really cool. And then with the basic one, I think this one is so fun. I don't know why, but I just really, really like the creativity that went into this. Figure it out is my teen. So it says just try six different activities and then it's my youth. I need to find myself and then incomplete become an elder. So that's really cool. It's really just figuring yourself out through your lifetime, actually. And what I like about uh, changing aspirations in general is just after you have maybe found at least 10 friends, you can be like, you know what? Now I'm going to go ahead and choose a career driven aspiration. I think that's really cool. So that is also completely reworked. All right, guys, the smile on Emily's face is the feeling I have in my heart right now. I'm so, so happy that I got to review this mod because this was so, so awesome. This changes gameplay like crazy. I encourage you to go ahead and download this mod, support this creator because there's a lot more coming. Also watch the video that she made on her page um, because that is also a really, really cool in-depth view of what you're gonna get when you get this mod. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.